Okay, so you want to go ahead and you want to click on your um, internet, whatever you use. I'm using Internet Explorer and uh, I'm using Google too. So you want to click Mod The Sims. You want to type that in and you want to search it. And then you can see there's an option to Welcome to Mod The Sims. Now this is the one you want. This is the official website, okay? You want to click on this. Everything on here is safe, trust me, I know. And now over into your top right hand corner, there should be an option to sign in. Now you can sign in if you if you have an account already, but if you do not, uh, register your account and come back to me and continue with the video. Okay, so you want to go to your search engine once again, and you want to go into your search bar and type it Seven Zip. This is our extracting um, our extracting software. Now you can either use WinRAR or Seven Zip, whatever's best for you. Mac users, I don't know. You want to click on your first one. Now, you need to decide whether you have 32-bit or 64-bit. You should know this. If you do not, there is many tutorials on the internet how to find this. I, on the other hand, have 64-bit. So, that is 64-bit there. And it, I'm pretty sure it only works for Windows 7-zip. But there may be other options for Mac. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and click on 64-bit. Click Download. Now, as you can see, it redirects you. And I have mine down in the bottom, and it says uh, run, save, or cancel. Now, if you follow the story, if you follow the steps that are on the screen, uh, you'll get through it fine. Once it's installed, come back to the video. Okay, so now you want to get, uh, you want to go down into my description, and you want to look at the link. There should be a link to the uh, frame framework. Okay, so you want to click on that link, and it will redirect you. So I'm going to head up into my search bar, into my URL. And I'm going to go delete whatever is there, and I'm going to paste the URL that they've provided. And you need to install this to be able to install your mods, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and search this up. So when I click enter, this will pop up. Then, after this, whatever you have, you want to click save. Save as, preferably. Now, this is the tricky bit. On your computer, you want to head to your documents. So I'm going to head to PC first. Then you want to head to your documents. Then electronic arts. So the documents there, electronic arts, the Sims 3. And you want to save it in that folder, okay? So there'll be loads of other things, forget about them, you just want to save it right now. It should be a compressed zip file, okay? I've already got mine, so if you would click save, then it will be there, but I'm gonna stop mine here. Okay, so continue from the last step. You want to head to your libraries and go to your electronic arts file once again. Okay, when this loads up, you want to head to The Sims 3. And from there, you can see your framework set up compressed zip file that you literally just downloaded. Okay, so you want to click on that and then right click on it. And this is where 7-zip comes in. So you head over to 7-zip and then you want to head over to extract here. This is what you want to do, okay? You want to extract the files that are inside that compressed file into them, okay? So there it is, there's a mods folder that just popped up, and that came from the framework setup, okay? You have to do this to be able to get mods, okay? So now you can go ahead and delete the framework setup because you do not need that anymore. That is just taking up space, you don't need that, okay? Um, now mods is where you install everything. It, you all mods basically are installed in your packages, but overrides are installed in the overrides file. Um, you have to install it into packages, otherwise it will not work. Okay? So all of your mods basically can head into packages. Uh, you can create folders in there and whatever you want to store your mods. Okay, so now you want to go ahead and go back onto your internet where you have the Welcome to the Sims, uh, Welcome to Mod the Sims. Now, as you can see, I am going to click on Trending Uploads, and there is an app for it right now. You would click on that, and this bit would pop up here. Now, um, there is a description, files, install instructions, related uploads, and all comments. Now, the description and the files are the most important parts that you have to worry yourself about. Now, the description is what you've been looking at already. 
uh, and this will say everything about what is going on in the mod. Now you head to files when you want to install it and you want to click on the .zip file provided to download. Then once you click on that, you get a pop-up saying that where you want to save it or whether you want to open it. You want to save this, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and click save as so I can show you where you want to save it. Okay, so you want to go on save as. Once again, you want to head to your documents. Then once again, you want to head to your electronic arts. We've been through this, the Sims 3. And then the mods once again. And then packages. And you want to save that file in packages, okay? Now we'll... You want to save that and wait for that to finish downloading, okay? Now, once it has finished downloading, you want to head to your documents. Once again, you've been through this again. Um, electronic Arts, then you want to head to The Sims 3, and then Mods, and then Packages, because that's where you've saved your file. Now, there is a compressed zipped file, okay? So you would click on this file and then right click. Click on this file and then right click on it and you want to head to 7-zip. Now you could just extract it here but some folders have different types of folders inside them that the user has provided so it's always best to open it up. Now to the left you should have, it should literally just be pictures of, uh, pictures of like a little page with a slip on them. This is how you know that they are package files. You want to click these and drag these over into your folder. Now I already have these stored in here so I'm going to click skip. But a bit, but you know when you do it, your folder or your file would head over into there and you would have them right there. And that is literally just it, how you install, uh, that's how you install mods. Now each time you want a new mod you just download it, and go through the same last two step process that I've just gone through you with, uh, gone through to you with, and yeah. So now you can go ahead and delete that compressed zip file. Now always make sure that you close the uh, 7-zip archive that you had open. And you want to go ahead and delete that. And yeah, that's it.